The Millinder family, like most families who are descendants of slavery, can trace their roots back to a few years before the 1870 census report, which was shortly after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. The Millinders were more than likely slaves of a German-owned immigrant plantation. From what we can tell, they called it Germany Monroe, Alabama. And the name Millinder is said to be German and at one point was pronounced Milander. Many Germans began to move into the newly established state of Alabama from 1830 to 1866 to gather textiles and send them back to Germany in the import-export business. Many of the German slaves were fairly new to the United States and the German immigrants did not have the same ways and customs as the earlier European immigrants. This may account for some of the non-slave-like attitudes and success of the slaves who came from these plantations. Most were likely first-generation slaves at the time of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation and had experienced the Civil War. The oldest known Millinder was Henry Millinder, whose birthday was somewhere around 1835. Some of his children were seen on the 1870 census report but any of the older children who had moved out before the report were not written on the census. Some families prior to 1863 were separated due to slave trading and slavery hand-downs from one slave owner to other family members. Charlie Millinder had four siblings, Benjamin, Robert, John, and Karis, who were noted as being children of Jan Wiggins and used the surname of Wiggins until the 1900 census report, at which time they all changed their last name to Millender. The only reason we can conclude this is that they were found to be the children of a Millender from that plantation, and more than likely Jan had been moved from the Millender plantation to the Wiggins plantation at one point. We believe that Henry Millender based on his age and location to the general vicinity of Peterman and Camden, Alabama. Geographically, this is a little bit more than a 15-mile radius of each other, roughly a three to four hour walk on foot. Jan and Henry were both born in the same year of 1835 and both lived in Monroe, Alabama at that time. Also, they were more than likely on the same plantation as children. Because marriage between slaves were not officially recognized by the state of Alabama until 1863, a marriage bond between these two people cannot be either proven or disproven at this time. Records more than likely can be found in the local church of the slaves, such as Amity Baptist Church, which is the location of Charlie Millinder's grave. DNA testing will be done over the next few years. Maybe we will come up with a much clearer view of what happened and where the slaves of the Millinder Germany plantation were imported from. All descendants of the Millinders are encouraged to obtain an Ancestry.com DNA test to help in this process. Millinders, we have made our mark throughout this country, in our communities, and in our families. Millinders have always stood out in the crowd and are all stars in our eyes. Here are just a few of our Millinder descendant stars. <laughs>